find a lot of students do is that they focus on making notes, they focus on making note cards, they focus on doing lots of problems, lots of full length tests, doing lots of reading, they focus on doing all these things without a sense of what the objective is. Hey guys, Dr. Hunter Pinehead. I'm answering one of your questions today that you sent to me. If you have a question, leave it in the comment box below and I'll try to answer it uh, when I get a chance. Uh, today's question is, how should you go about taking MCAT notes? And I think this question is a good question, but a bad question at the same time, in the sense that when we talk about studying for the MCAT, right, in any aspect of your studying or your prep for the MCAT, what is your actual objective? Right? And, and I ask this because when we talk about how should we take notes, we have to understand what the purpose of our studying is and of those notes consequently. And what I find a lot of students do is that they focus on making notes, they focus on making note cards, they focus on doing lots of problems, lots of full length tests, doing lots of reading, they focus on doing all these things without a sense of what the objective is. And without understanding where you're going, you can never get there. And I feel like that's why people's MCAT prep for them is so frustrating, is they don't have a, an understanding of what they're trying to achieve, therefore they can't possibly achieve it, therefore they can't have their score go up. And when it comes to notes, often, and maybe you're in this boat right now while watching this video, is that you've got in the boat where it's like, man, I have all this stuff to read, all these notes I wanna take, or all these notes I've made, but then I have no time to actually review these notes. And then so I would ask you, well then what's the purpose of making the notes if you're never gonna review them? <laughs> and that may sound crazy to you, right? As in that question, it may get you thinking, but when I teach people to do the MCAT, I teach them how to do notes, but more importantly, I teach them how to approach notes and the methodology and understanding that our objective is not just to make notes to make notes. We should make notes of things that are notable, and for the MCAT, that's different than typical prep we wanna make notes on things that we're not easily going to remember. And we wanna make notes on things that are high yield. And if something is not one of those two things, it doesn't get written down. And even more specifically, when we say something we're not gonna remember, we write it down, let's ask ourselves, let's be honest. Are you gonna remember this ever with any amount of review? If not, then don't even write it down. Say, oh, you know what, I'm never gonna know how to do a, a double SN2 reaction in OCHEM for this MCAT test. Well, then don't write it down. Because then what you've done is you created an aversive part of your notes. And you know what I'm talking about, right? Where you know when that section of the notes is coming up that is very difficult to understand, is very complex, feels like, oh my gosh, like it's the worst. It makes you not want to read any of your notes. Once you get to it, it bogs you down so you can't get to other aspects of your note, other aspects of your prep. And the big mistake I see a lot of students make is they write down, because the MCAT is so big and broad, they write down so much, and they write down so much stuff they're never gonna be able to remember on test day. So then why write it down? Why waste your time, your ink and your paper and your time, writing down something that's not gonna benefit your score? Instead, why not focus on the high yield stuff that you can learn and write that stuff down? So I think that's where you start. It's very complex in writing notes, but when it comes to how to take MCAT notes, the first thing you have to understand is your objective is not to make a bunch of notes. Your objective is not to make a bunch of flashcards. Your objective is to learn the material, to retain the material over your long study period so you can have it to activate and apply effectively on the MCAT test. So what you need to do is use a studying method and use aspects of your studying and, and have something that allows you to learn effectively, to manage the material, and then to hold on to all that information, all those concepts, everything, so that way you can use it on test day. And if your studying is not allowing you, if you study something one day and you don't remember the next day, you're not doing it right. You're failing yourself. And for me, I found like when I was working with a lot of students who were taking the MCAT, their biggest frustration was they would read, they would read, they would read, and then they wouldn't remember. They would do a full length test, struggle through the drudgery for a day, review it the next day, and then feel frustrated, flabbergasted, because they got a bad score on that full length test. And so what I said, when I wanted to come out and create my MCAT course, which if you guys don't know, I have an MCAT course, how to dominate the MCAT without an expensive prep class, I said, I'm gonna do things entirely different to facilitate what students actually need, as opposed to what 
they think they need, right? There's a difference. And so I set out to say content doesn't matter. And so in my course, I teach no content. And I said, what matters is doing questions, but doing questions right in a way that is fun, that is not so stressful, that is not so demoralizing, and allows you to suck all the good juiciness out of every single question you do. And so I teach a very, very specialized, high-level brand of question-based learning. And I know it's a popular term that gets thrown out, but I teach it on a whole other galaxy scale of question-based learning, but I encourage you guys to to practice question-based learning, to use question-based learning, to do more questions and do less dry reading and notes that you're never gonna read. Instead, get to the questions, get to the application, get to learning and retaining the information. The other thing I'll say about this is with all those notes, okay? If you're going to make notes, make notes. I see too many of you guys doing chicken scribbles and jibbles because you're tired and your hands. Make sure your notes are legible and readable and functional. Otherwise, it's a pack, it's a, it's a pile of messy papers that you're never gonna access. So there's a lot of things you can do. Um, and I think there's more than just one thing you can do to do great on MCAT notes and do great on MCAT studying. But we first have to understand our objective, it's a hard one, but it's to learn as much as we can and to retain as much as we can. And if our study pursuits, if the way we're going about it is making us frustrated and making us not learn and making us not retain, then you're doing something wrong. And what I would suggest you guys to do right now is I have a free MCAT webinar called The Three Secrets for Dominating the MCAT Without an Expensive Prep Class and Without the Stress. Check out this absolutely free webinar. There's no risk. You just sign up for a free webinar and learn from me, right? <laughs> Get some extensive training from me about how you can start to approach your MCAT to be more successful and to enjoy the process more, not be burnt out, not be overwhelmed, and not forget everything so you can execute good score you can get to medical school. So check that out. It's right below in the box. Three secrets for dominating the MCAT without expensive prep class and without the stress. Get started, okay? And check out some more of my YouTube videos, but get started. Check out that webinar um, and get on your path. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Have a great, great day. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and take me a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med put it to the experts show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.